Give us your tired, your hungry, your poor, those willing to earn their citizenship. Give us America's tired, hungry, and poor, those that cannot fend for themselves, so that everyone can become educated and self-reliant. To be under one, many, or no God, part of the Pledge of Allegiance, not its shadow. In the land of the free and the home of the brave, how could we ever let any man be slave? How could the icon of American liberty have been a woman who could not vote? Standing before the ark of American liberty, feel the footsteps of your ancestral people taking their first step in freedom. Shed tears of joy for everyone in taking their first step, overshadowed by clarity of heartache. The little boys and little girls, mothers and fathers, who took their first step without the hand of the other. If we believe all men and women are created equal, then why are some born into upper class educated families? Others into abject poverty. It's not your culture that brings us here. It's having culture. It's not anyone's culture, it's everyone's culture. When government fails to meet this obligation, it is the responsibility of the people to alter, change, institute new, organized in a manner to better serve their safety and happiness. Freedom is hard. Equality is harder. Morality is unrelenting. Give us all tired, hungry, and poor, whose vocabulary is void of the word convenient. All tired, hungry, and poor to be inspired with confidence so they will no longer suffer. Under the pains and penalties of morality, may these words forever serve Lady Liberty, and all of mankind. Thank you. This is called At Old Frog Pond Farm. Maybe some of you know that place. Wonderful place. Um, at Old Frog Pond Farm. A sculpted small figure by the pond, gathering sky in her round arms, is my mother. Alive, but so lightly tethered to the place and condition of her body. She slips away, rocks here to and fro as late light changes. And my father, a full-scale ghost, tall, narrow in the garden across the water, moves toward me head down with the shuffling gait of a man who walks a bean row with a hoe. But could the dead, the very old, have lightened hearts. Hauling on its hammer, I sound the bell in the woods, and they fly to me over waves of air, step from trees in the fresh found bodies, the bright hope of the marriage that conceived me. Listen, they say in the air's last memory of bell song. Now, in your only life, this one, live in that peace you imagine for us. They touch me with their eyes in this good green place and say, look, look. Thank you. Thank you. 
Some say there's a season, time for every purpose. Some say there's a reason for all the things that hurt us. Well, I don't know the master plan, just focus on the small. I plant potatoes in April, garlic in the fall. Grown-up life's a busy mix of startled stress and hurry. Sometimes I can't help myself give in to the worry. Other days I take it slow and listen when the birds call. Potatoes in April, garlic in the fall cause there's a time for doing taxes a time for washing dishes a time for smelling roses a time for catching fishes a time to read a time to write a time to search for answers a time to leave your seat and join the dancers. Some hope politicians will be the ones to save us. Others say the answer is to bow our heads to Jesus. Don't got much faith in praying, less in building walls. I plant potatoes in April, garlic in the fall. Cause there's a time for doing taxes, a time for washing dishes, a time for smelling roses, a time for catching fishes. Time to read, a time to write, a time to search for answers. A time to leave your seat and join the dancers. There's a meditation in working for the future. Tender shoots, seeds, and hope, all things we can nurture. Each act of compassion shows we're in it for the long haul. Potatoes in April, garlic in the fall. Potatoes in April, garlic in the fall. The living stand by kitchen counters cutting raspberry danish in squares and debate arrangements on the pastry dish that belonged to a great aunt. Her set of good dishes that they take out for finger sandwiches and small bowls of nuts. And since I'm gone, neither lofty nor down and dirty, why watch the floor or stare at ceiling board? Why watch the ceiling or stare at floorboards? Just pat the damn dog. Kneel beside her, nestled there among my sweaters, my shirts and ties, an old robe in the closet that wait for the missionaries. Leave go the Kleenex the gathering casseroles, and grasp her golden leash that hangs by the door. She'll show you the chickens by the filthy river. She'll come back with a ball and walk you to the marsh edge where the herons wade in the shallows. For dog's sake, stand in the stillness beside her, bathed in light. 
for this is how she loved me best. This is how I want to be remembered. She walks the beach after midnight Her bare feet half in the sand The surf flows out to meet her Like a warm collecting hand The moon brightens the horizon Urging the waves to gleam These peers into the distance to where the sky meets the sea She asked where did my love go It seemed to disappear I don't know where to tread now I have no friends but tears She drifted into the ocean the edge was bright and clear Drew her like a magnet Urging her ever near Ever Come, let me comfort you. I'll read Let me unite your love again, never again to part. The edge opened up and made her in. She rushed in with hope sublime. She inside she saw her love again. Now they're one till the end of time They're one till the end of time Thank you very much. Black and white checkerboard of perception shows quite clearly racist deception. A black guy gets shot in his own backyard armed with nothing but a cell phone. A white guy bomber terrorizes the whole city of Austin and is surrounded with perplexed comments. He seemed like a normal kid, normal meaning white guy, a homeschooled white boy very religious, the other guy being black, meaning not normal and therefore suspicious. This play of white and black, totally vicious, plays out again and again and again and again against black family wishes. White boy Christianity in the end was total insanity. White people vanity, profanity at its worst. Black people cry for justice, for clarity of perception, calling out what it is racist deception. The black guys die and the white guys hide. The truth be damned. So, this poem is called Garden Party. Part one, the invitation. Magnolia tips lift up like candle wicks lit by the sun. As I look at the flowers and the snow, it could be yes or no. Every year it's touch and go. A warm fall spring opens the buds then blasted by frost, they die without flowers. Why does it matter so much to me? When I think of my kids, will I see them in May? The trio's not only blossoms, but leaves. 
to throw shade on a summer day. You are invited to a garden party. I will fly the flags that spell out your names and put up the canopy. Roses, lavender, cosmos, and vervain will smell so good. The fountain will go and birds will come. We look forward to seeing everyone. Light refreshments will be served. RSVP. Part two, the thank you notes. Thank you for coming to my garden party. I regret that Sally fell out of the hammock and hit her head. Good thing she wasn't seriously injured. Only two stitches and good as new. Thank you for helping with the food after I cut myself slicing onions. Hope you enjoyed the party anyway. Thank you for coming to my party. I'm sorry I made that crack about the load limit on the deck. I didn't mean you personally, <laughs> just because you're pregnant. Hope you enjoyed the party anyway. Thank you for coming to my garden party. I'm sorry I scared you with that rubber snake. It'll never happen again. <laughs> I like to stroll down Sonnet Street, where love glows in iambic gardens, or sleep outside in a haiku tent with a sky full of stars and just a few syllables. Or sit on a front porch with Whitman and watch as he whittles his metaphors. My favorite, though, is a four stanza home where a poem by William Stafford lives. When I visit, he gives me a piece of heaven, something he happened to find one morning before the dawn flowed over the hedge. <laughs> I'm not really <clears throat> much of a writer, but this is one that I did write out of necessity. This is from Mary. Uh, it made her laugh. I don't even know where she is today. The time when she was slipping into darkness. I don't expect to see this on Handycam. I've been feeling fairly frisky So I'm out here on the prowl The moon is fat and full It's a real fine night to howl I'm out looking for some action I'm not looking for romance Something cheap and superficial A one night no string circumstance while I cruise by this little bistro And I spied you sitting here Took a while to find my courage About a half a dozen beers Now I'm wearing my beer goggles And you're looking mighty good If you're looking to get lucky I'm pretty certain that you could Something cheap and superficial That is all I'm looking for I don't want to hear I love you Or you'll be mine forevermore Something cheap and superficial Maybe wrong, but it's all right Something cheap and superficial To help us make it through the night uh, we know who's in pretending What we both have come here for And I hope that you'll be with me When I go strutting out that door You know that I could really rock you Let me show you what I got I guarantee that you'll be grinning If you just give me a shot we could tell our lies and stories That would be a waste of time And when we are dancing close, dear You know what I got on my mind Yes, the time is fast approaching Would you like to take a chance? Closing time will soon be here, dear Let's get out on the floor and have a dance Something cheap and superficial That is all I'm looking for I don't want to hear I love you 
you'll be mine forevermore Something cheap and superficial Makes the whole thing sound so crass Something cheap and superficial To make the empty hours pass I can see that you're not the kind, dear Who freely does this sort of thing For you the cost of copulating Comes up commitment and a ring But I'm all looking for a bargain Don't need no flowers, cake or rice A first time user special offer One night free trial would be nice Something cheap and superficial That is all I'm looking for I don't want to hear I love you You'll be mine forevermore Something cheap and superficial Could be wrong, but it's all right Something cheap and superficial I hope my hunch about you is right Mai, you say, oh, much white life to you all. Thanks. Oh, my soul, I sold you away. Oh, my soul, I sold you away. Oh, my soul, I sold you away. I sold you away Black clouds blowing Across some blustery sky Black clouds blowing Across a blustery sky South of Highway 7 All alone and crying Oh soul I sold you away Oh, my soul I sold you away Oh, my soul I sold you away Oh, my soul I sold you away Oh, soul I sold you away It started with desires Sweet, soft kiss It started with desires Sweet, soft kiss Well, it ended in an alley With my face against a fist Oh, so I sold you away Oh, my soul I sold you away Oh, my soul I sold you away Oh, my soul I sold you away Oh, soul I sold Redemption, redemption, have mercy on me. Redemption, redemption, have mercy on me. Well, a body's but a prison when the soul's a refugee. Oh, soul, I sold you away. I sold, I sold you away. Oh, my soul, I sold you away. Oh, my soul, I sold you away. Oh, soul, I sold you away. Well, I'm rolling into green. Get down on my knees, rolling into Greenwood. 
get down on my knees by Robert Johnson's grave pray my soul back to me oh soul I sold you away oh my soul I sold you away oh my soul I sold you away Oh my soul I sold you away Oh soul I sold you away Black clouds blowing Across a blustery sky Black clouds blowing Cross a blustery sky Peach and pear. 